I'm here with Stacey Caron, who is the founder of Spellbinders, and you're going to teach us a little bit of something about a phrase you call building on the core? Yes. So what does on that mean? It means taking your basic core shapes mm -hmm. and using your decorative dies and marrying them together and creating beautiful projects. So like you've shown here, what you're doing is essentially it's kind of like layering. These are all circles, but with fancy edges. Exactly. All die cutting. Cool. So we start out the project by die cutting. <laughs> Imagine that? that. So here I have two different types of dies. Okay. And I'm just going to place. Now what is, oh, what's this? This is a magnet mat. Is that, it's Why made out need, of magnets? It is a magnet. Look at this. Okay. So if you were going to make a card and right. you wanted to put something perfectly in place, okay. this will hold the die down. Oh. Why I'm using it on these is because I need added pressure because okay. of the detail in these dies. Okay. Okay. That makes sense so to me. So we're using that with the gold color dies. Okay. And then this is the regular copper color. So you can actually cut two different kinds of dies at the same time. Yes, you can. That's really Isn't cool. That fun? Yeah. So place your card stock down. Mm hmm. And then just run it through the machine. Okay. And I noticed that you're putting the pattern paper face side up. Is that right? Well, I want the other side. Oh. So it depends on whatever side you want. Paper. So if I want the blue side mm -hmm. here, then you place the blue. If I want the pattern, because okay. a lot of card stock now is two sided. Yes. So you just have to decide what you like. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we're going to run this through the machine. Let's do it. And we're going to die cut first. And then second, we're going to emboss. Okay. Okay. Two steps. Two steps. Which is always fun. Great results. And I noticed that that machine is not moving around because you've actually locked it to locked the table. Locked it down in place. Exactly. Which There's is like great. a little mechanism that mm -hmm. like locks it to the table. Very cool. Fun, huh? It is. Well, you know, I think like that's one of the things I always worry about is that I'm going to create, I'm like sort of like a bull in a china shop, that I'm going to create a huge disaster exactly. when I do things. Yes. Did yeah. you hear the creaking? I did. That means the paper's cutting. Oh. So don't be afraid that you're breaking awesome. anything because you're not. And so there's our die cut shapes. Okay. Okay. You could use that for a frame later. Yeah. Never throw anything away. You never no, know when you're going to need it. never throw anything away. The second step is mm -hmm. the embossing step. So okay. if your cardstock comes out like that, did just put it back just in. Just replace it. It lines right back up. Easy enough. We're done with the magnet mat so we can remove it. Okay. And then you just add your rubber embossing mat on top. Okay. So what's going to happen now is all the embossing details going to come out in the die. And the rubber mat is creating some kind of pressure, right, that yep. allows it to softly push yes. into the paper and create exactly. all that cool yep. dimension. It actually allows the paper to go through the die in a box. Well, you know, it's the thing is I was never interested in chemistry or physics or any of that it's, stuff until I became a crafter. I know, it's and now amazing. I'm fascinated I know, by it. It's amazing how much that really plays into this. I mean, we don't yeah. even think about it in our it's day true. of life. It's true. So drum roll, please. I know. Let's see what came out of the machine. <laughs> okay, so. It's always a surprise, right? Yeah, good one. Okay, so just take your die cuts mm -hmm. out of your dies. Oh, and isn't this amazing? It's beautiful. So here you can see where there's a deboss effect and right. embossed effect. Deboss, of course, is sinking, sinking. embossing is yep. raising. Mm -hmm. So that's a really fun yeah, piece. Yeah, it is. That's awesome. And then you take your building on the core piece mm -hmm. and you just slap that right down there with some adhesive. That's so nice. And now we're going to build our page. Okay, and so. I, I see that we have all the pieces here. And one of the things that I noticed that you did that I love is because we're talking about this idea of building several shapes yes. over and over. And even with the square here, just your background, which you could have just, you could have left it plain, you could have left it here, yes. you could have left it there, but you didn't. You layered them together exactly. and it's so effective. It is. It's so effective. So you see the point of this die cut? Yes. So line it up at the corner of your page. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. Oh, I see. You're using this almost like an arrow uh -huh. to get your to perfect point, placement. To get the perfect placement. That's awesome. And then you just line them all up mm -hmm. one at a time. And you're not at all worried about what's happening in the center because nope. you're going to cover We're it. We're going to cover that up. Okay. So then you take the smaller version. Same of the dies. die, just smaller. smaller. Okay. And then what you'll do is you'll slip those on the inside in here. And then of course you've given me a pile of fun I have stuff given you a pile of fun with. stuff. So there's your pieces. Yes. So now start building. Okay. Tools. So I have this big piece, right? Yeah. And it's got that nice detail again. And you know what I really like are these little almost like pin pricks. Aren't they in pretty? It. I think that's lovely. Well, here's the die that made it. So mm. the pin pricks are there actually in the die cut itself. Mm -hmm. Just use it on the cardstock. There's and put it right layer. down. And I yep. love the tip that you gave me before about using wax paper for a die that's yes, cut to help it intricate. release. Absolutely. So I have another circle, right? And there's your second layer. Really nice. Yep. And I like how, even though they're both circles, the edges are varied enough that it creates yep. some visual interest again. So it's the same but different. Yeah, so just remember with your basic shapes, how you mix and match, and you can get so many different looks. Lots of different options. Okay, and actually here, this is interesting. So mm -hmm. this is double-sided paper, and you know, for a very different page, you yep. could use that side, for a different but we're gonna look. use this side. We're gonna use that right? side, yep. 
and, and then what's really cool uh -huh. photos so we've got this photo here mm -hmm. and here's how it started out now is that a vintage photo it is not a vintage photo oh. but it looks i mean with the printing technology today yeah you can make your photos look any way you want it's but true. what's so cool is the dyes allow you to see where are you going to place exactly it? Exactly where you're so going you to do it. So you can get this cute little face. And I noticed that you've taped it in place on the side that Perfect you don't want. Perfect placement because you don't want it slipping around in the exactly. machine. Exactly. That's so, there so you go smart. There. And then you have, voila. Yeah, and you told me there's a little secret here there about is. this tag, which is there's actually, there's a little card you can pull out, Isn't right? Isn't We made a little pocket. I think that's so neat. And then... Perfect and again, placement. to be able to see what you're doing. And now, I, I want to look at this layout, which I think is That is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, everyone's loving Downton Abbey, and that is the real Downton Abbey. Oh. So we thought that was cool. Yeah. And this is the exact same die that we used in this layout a different way. That's cool. And, and then, again, you're layering similar but different. Yep. And then we have a secret little yes. pocket right there. That is so cool. Isn't that fun? I love again the dimensional embellishment and how you've created dimension with foam adhesive yep. and other ones. Mixing and matching. What about this beauty? Is that not beautiful? It It'd is. be a great gift. It would be a great gift, and it would be just pretty to have out in your house. Get some so junk what we put used away. to do is just basic nested label shapes and just mix them up. I love that idea. Thank you, Stacey. You are welcome.